I would like to see this continue in some form. Uh, we, could so, we could see this through the week, through the activities and engagement through the week. It's not always easy to go through a one-week training with the same level of motivation as we can see here. So that in itself is uh, a good testimony to the fact that this was a complete success. If an arrangement could be made for you or for your associates to have this on an ongoing basis, and if similar workshops could be arranged for public school teachers also who are uh, working under very difficult situations, both here in the capital, in Addis, and also maybe it could be arranged regionally, then that would assist uh, uh, the, the, the whole, perhaps, education system in the country. Because uh, this was a workshop about changing minds. Uh, this was a workshop about uh, acquiring a, a new set of uh, beliefs about what education is all about, about what the teaching profession is all about, about what it means to be a teacher. Uh, if we go from here with the changing attitude that our learners are not blank slates on which we can write anything we want, then the purpose of this workshop has been achieved. <coughs> If we go from here <coughs> with a renewed commitment to be of use to fellow human beings, I think the purpose of this workshop has been achieved. It's not only about limited eight thinking maps we're talking about. It's a complete change of mind and attitude and also commitment. So I would appeal to the uh, administrators of this institute who must have uh, done a very good job in, in, in arranging this for us to continue supporting in some form the continuation of this, uh, uh, this workshop. Uh, I work for an institute uh, that works very closely with teacher education uh, in Africa it is, but then as a host country, Ethiopia being the uh, headquarter uh, for that institute, and the institute is known as the International Institute for Capacity Building in Africa, which is a UNESCO institute, and you all know that UNESCO is very much committed to education. I will brief my boss and my fellow staff at the institute, and we should try and find a way of pairing up with CHA and also perhaps uh, with the uh, 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 associates of Mr. Price back in the US for this activity to be supported in some form so that we may continue this. And if we can uh, raise the resources, maybe take it elsewhere in other African countries too, because I'm sure the reality in most of the countries in Sub-Saharan Africa is that teachers are working under very difficult situations, very deprived situations. They themselves are not treated properly. They're not paid well. They're not having the benefits they deserve as professionals. All that has to change, but it cannot change on a very rapid, overnight basis. It takes time. We have to be there together, and we have to persevere, and I'm sure it will pay off at the end. And I would like to close by my remark with a big thank you to Mr. Price. Thank you very much. <laughs>